Wacken Winter Nights 2019 and I'm here with Skiltron uh, from all the places, uh, Buenos Aires. <laughs> so, uh, how are you guys doing? Uh, we are good. Just uh, finished our set like about two hours ago. It was uh, very good. Like no, We never play a festival in the winter before, so it was kind of a surprise how it's going to be, but actually it was really good, really happy. What kind of experience do you want to bring for music listener? For people. Yeah. Well, we always try to give... We, we don't try, we do everything on a stage. We, we give everything, 100% of us, always. Um, I think that people get it really well, so we are always happy with the feedback that happened in, the, in our shows uh, through the people and back. This was really good. Today we, we could see it as well, so it was really good. Yeah, how was uh, tonight's gig? Re really great. Uh, it was like a short set, 45 minutes, but it was like a full room and uh, the audience was amazing. They were singing along and doing mosh pit and everything. We were really happy. Yeah. Uh, Legacy of Blood came out in uh, 2016. Mm -hmm. um, when can we expect some new yeah. music? Well, uh, we are. We know we are really a little bit late with, with the recordings, but... Uh, Hopefully it will be for this year. We are working on that now. And after the tour, it will be more intense work on the new music. So hopefully this year. We also want a new album. <laughs> so, uh, Any ideas of what kind of musical direction you're taking with that well, album? Well, it's funny because... <laughs> it's funny because we were talking about that today. Like uh, how is... Um, because we were listening to some big advances of the new songs and... Uh, I said, like, well, yes, yeah, our style. And it's funny sometimes because, you know, like, uh, if a band, in my opinion, has style, uh, that's what I will expect of that band. You know, there's many cases uh, when the band changes the style completely or make some experimental album. And after that, everyone is saying, like, uh, oh, but they should go back to the older stuff. So if you keep your line, it's like, oh, it's more of the same. But then if you change it, it's like, yeah, they, they should go back to the roots. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's impossible to always satisfy everybody. So uh, my concept is like, I, if I like the stuff, that's enough for me. If people like it, awesome. But I will do what I like, not what I think it will work in the market, you know? So basically it's that. <laughs> you know, going back in time, uh, where did the original idea of uh, Celtic folk metal come to you? Well, well yeah. That's... You know, of all the places, you know, Buenos Aires. Yeah, as we always say, it's like, um, at, at first it will sound strange, like Celtic from Argentina, but um, if you get to know more about the culture and the people, it's not that weird because there's a lot of European influence in Argentina. It's basically a country made out of European immigrants. So um, unlike the rest of Latin America, that maybe they don't have that kind of um, history, Argentina is more like mainly doing like uh, for European immigrants that came to the country. So uh, a lot of European costumes, music and everything is like very integrated into the Argentinian culture. So we have always liked Celtic music as well metal. Uh, we have been listening to bands like uh, Blending That, like um, Skyglad, they are like the, the pioneers of folk metal. Um, we just uh, thought, oh, that would be something cool to do in our own way, like including uh, Scottish bagpipes and everything. And at first it was really hard because um, to get the right people and everything, but um, at the end we put it together and here we are, like almost 15 years later. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, uh, almost 15 years. And um, for you, what have been the high points of those well, years? I will say that uh, we didn't reach it yet. Uh, we always want for more, go for more. Um, the last uh, couple of years has been amazing. Uh, we have been touring intensely in Europe, uh, playing major festivals. Uh, 
we make it to Japan for the first time and um, I will say that uh, this last time, especially the last couple of years, were amazing for the band and we hope to continue in this way. Yeah, yeah, and uh, you also co-worked with Corpi Clani on the <laughs> yeah, Birra Birra song. Yeah, and actually... How was that? I will join them next on the stage tonight. <laughs> Looking forward to that. That was so funny because uh, they just... They were going to release their own beer that they they did now and they were making like different versions of the song and i was visiting them in the studio and say would you like to to make the spanish version say well i'm just a guitar player i'm not a singer or maybe you can do a demo or something well i can try i say okay we like your version so we will use it <laughs> so it was like kind of a surprise so even for me <laughs> because i don't have any experience uh, singing or anything but uh, at the end the result was very very good it's, it's like a very funny song uh, and it's gonna happen tonight so let's see <laughs> amazing uh still going back uh could you tell me something about the uh, metal scene in uh, argentina well, there's plenty of bands actually. Uh, unfortunately, it's, uh, we are it's a country that is so far from the main festivals and touring possibilities and everything that there's just a few bands that actually can make it and you know like get out of the country and tour internationally because it's the problem is that the the possibilities and the you know the Argentinian economy is not really good so. It's really hard for bands to make it to Europe or any other places that they could be more known. But uh, unfortunately, that's that's the problem. It's is like there, too far away. <laughs> is there enough fans in Argentina for plen plenty of metalheads? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You can tell there's a metal band touring there, like uh, Iron Maiden, and that, and they play for sixty thousand people, sold out arenas. So yeah, yeah, there's a, lo a lot of people. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. All the best.